methane is the main component of natural gas and releases fewer byproducts than any other fossil fuels. Because of this, strong interest exists to use natural gas as a key source of energy in the nation's transition to a less carbon-intensive energy portfolio. Although methane is a cleaner burning energy source than other fossil fuels, it itself is a significant greenhouse gas. Methane has nearly 25 times the impact of carbon dioxide, but has a short atmospheric lifetime. Most people have heard of methane, but have you ever heard of a methane hydrate? Not too long ago in the news, there was coverage of mysterious craters forming in northwest Siberia. Some of the nomads in the area believed it to be punishment from God, but in fact it was methane hydrate beneath the permafrost being broken down because of warming, releasing large amounts of gas and causing the craters. Methane hydrates, or gas hydrates, or clathrates, are crystalline water-based solids with gas, in this case methane, that is trapped inside cages of hydrogen-bonded frozen water molecules. The cage encloses a space of a particular size and only a gas molecule small enough to fit within the site can be hosted in that specific hydrate structure. Methane molecules can fit within both small and large structures, making it the most common type of gas hydrate. It physically resembles ice, but the difference can be seen when a match is taken to the hydrate and it burns. One volume of methane hydrate releases about 180 volumes of methane gas, storing a large amount of gas in a small volume, thus explaining the serious interest in gas hydrates as a potential future energy resource and factor in global climate change. Methane hydrates can exist on land in regions that are permanently frozen called permafrost and below the sea floor in marine sediments. About 99% of gas hydrates form in marine sediments and the other 1% form in the permafrost areas. In this simplified phase diagram, we can see where methane hydrate is stable. For permafrost regions, methane hydrate is stable at low temperatures and relatively low pressure. Below the seafloor, we can see methane hydrates are stable at higher temperatures and higher pressures than the permafrost. In marine settings, seismic profiles have shown something called a bottom simulating reflector, which shows the crossover from methane hydrate to gas in the phase diagram. In the seismic profile, we can see columns where the velocity drops because the waves are hitting gas. We have found that the presence of a bottom simulating reflector can mean that methane hydrate exists on top of the reflector and gas exists underneath. So let's review. Methane hydrates are frozen ice cages that enclose methane gas. They form in marine sediments and permafrost areas and, in marine settings, bottom simulating reflectors can tell us where the methane hydrate may be. The structure of methane hydrate is able to hold about 180 times its volume in gas, and because of its ability to hold such a large quantity of gas, there is serious interest for its potential as a future energy resource and factor in global climate change. Oh, and do you remember the mysterious Siberian craters? Those were not the result of an angry god. Warming permafrost caused the methane hydrate to leave its stability zone and become a gas. Since the hydrate is able to hold 180 times its volume in gas, when it left the stability zone, all of the gas was released, causing a huge explosion and creating the craters.